Good afternoon, I'm Rick Deering, Borgo Service Rep. Um, here today to talk to you about uh, 7000 series Apollo Air Seater, brand new for 2015. Um, today we're going to go through basic setup of the virtual terminal and calibration through the virtual terminal, known as VT. Okay. So that'll be a screen running on your tractor monitor and uh, we'll simulate that by running a virtual terminal through our X30 so we can show you how this system works. This system supports four tank metering. Make sure all our cab components are plugged in properly. We're hooked into the ISO connector at the back of the tractor and our tractor is ISO ready. So just simply have to turn on our tractor monitor. When we turn the tractor monitor on it should automatically start looking for the connected air seeder. Your tractor will have an image similar to this image we have on our X30. Your tractor will show a bunch of different functions, but part of it, you'll see top left corner, is a picture of a green air seeder. That's our Borgo virtual terminal running on the tractor. We have a stop warning here that indicates that we have an active alarm. So in order for us to enter our air seeder, we have to acknowledge any alarms the tractor may have. So I'll hit OK to acknowledge the alarm the tractor had, and then I can go into my seeder software. This is the basic run screen of the seeder. We have select all, the speed, the coverage, acres per hour, fan RPM, pressure and PSI, going down this side, a return button, fans one and two, plus or minus for bumping up the uh, seating rates by preset increments, the rates we're seating, on the display, the product remaining, and the products we're seating. We have a second page, top right corner, Page two shows a few different functions. Area counters, and the weight, you seated. As well, we still have our seating rates along here. Below this, we have a picture of a screwdriver and a wrench. We touch that, it comes into the basic setup of the air seater. So we can touch this wrench in the back of the air seater top left corner, then we bring up another menu, touch the back of the tank, and if this is a system that has never been configured to that individual ECU on the tank, you may have to come in and put the sizes of the tanks. So you'd have to put the capacity in US bushels, then you have to granular liquid or an inch three, and whether it's a proportional valve or linear actuator. All of your 7000 series carts will have the proportional valve drive type. Okay. So we can go back to our wrench. Then we can touch on our products. This is where we'll be doing our calibration as well as selecting the product we're gonna pick for each air seater tank. Um, in our sample here, I've got wheat and tank one, 4600, I've got it selected to off. Canola, I've got it selected to off. I've got wheat and tank two. If I wanted to turn one on that was preset already, I have to go in and assign a tank to it. And I'll assign this one to tank four. It has an increment of 20 pounds an acre. That's a bump up or down increment. It says a preset one is 150, preset two is 175, product name 4600. And then we can go back. Now that's affixed to tank four. So we have wheat one, wheat two, 4600 and four. If we want to create a new product, we go to 
a blank one and it's going to be a blank screen here and we could enter whatever we want we could put rye have to have a starting cal factor your density it always starts at 62.43 pounds so you have to enter the density is pounds per cubic foot so you'd have to enter a number in there of whatever the actual density is and then you have to have a starting cal factor okay fix a tank to it first three and a cal factor any number in there will do as a starting point because when we calibrate we'll recalculate so i could put 0.2 in there or 0.1 as a starting cal factor okay back that's our cal factor now our preset rate one that's our primary seating rate whatever numbers you choose to have and a secondary seating rate and an increase decrease of that back to the page and you set your page up accordingly we'll exit this and come back in to do our calibration in a moment at any time if we want to return to the run screen we press the picture of the seater takes us to the run screen again and back to setup so we went through product setup there's our alarms the functions that are alarmed back our area counters back ECUs and an important one to go into is our switch box with our air seeders you have two switch boxes one's an in cab switch box and there's an identical switch box like this on the air seeder so we have to tell the vt which switch box is which so there's a picture of a tractor that's the in cab we have this ecu affixed to it to know if we're on the right one we press this indicator down here and it'll start the lights flashing press the button again it stops the lights from flashing now we can customize the buttons on the switch box we can customize buttons a b and c in the cab and button A only on the seater. So we've got button A, we've got it as tank rate increase or to do nothing at all. And we've got button B, tank rate decrease or do nothing at all. And we've got button C, it's called blockage check. That's a prime function where the seater will run for a preset time. We're going to go back to the wrench. We'll go back into the switch box. And then the tank switch box, the ID code, the calibration mode, or nothing at all. And then buttons B and C are not functioning. We can hit the identity to make sure it flashes on the air seater tank. Now we'll exit, go to the wrench again. We've gone through our basic setup. There's a diagnostic key over here, a function that um, general operator won't have to use at this time. Go back to our wrench. Now we're gonna escape back to our home screen. That's the basic setup of the tank. Now we're going to proceed to calibrating our tank.